All right, so I have developed a little bit of a rattle down here. My 2016 Ultra Limited. What I've come to conclude is I have some excessive play in my shifter. That's hard to hear or see, but um, there is some play in this shifter. Or slide back and forth. Um, after looking around, it looks like in here there are two bushings that the shifter shaft rides through. So I'm going to attempt to change those out. I've seen this done a couple ways. Um, how I intend to do it is on the back of the shaft right about here, uh, there should be an allen bolt. If I take that allen bolt out, I should be able to slide this off the back and pull this whole shifter shaft out. That will keep me from having to take off this, this, and this. Um, and I will take the old bushings out and I will put the new bushings in. Now to do that, here's what I intend to try to use. I got some Allen wrenches. I'm not quite sure the size yet. Um, here are the bushings from Harley. Part number down for you. Those are the bushings I'm going to use. Takes two of them. Um, I grabbed a socket with an extension. I think this one's an 11. That one's a 12. This one's an 11 because I'm not quite sure exactly how small I want to use. I'm going to use that to drive the old bushings out. I'm going to grease. I'll put on the shifter shaft. I'm going to put it back in. Uh, I'll put a Loctite for the allen bolt. I'm going to put that back in. Um, I'm going to try to use this. I'm not really sure. I don't remember what I got it off of. Just had it laying around. But really all you need is a bolt with a nut and then two big washers. And we'll use that to reinstall the bushings, the new bushings. And then a mallet. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, so I got my first bolt out on the back there. Uh, using a 3 16th Allen wrench. There she is right there. Just a quick note. I had to go find me a screwdriver so I can pop this off. Second thing was I had a hard time getting my eyes on it to get the Allen wrench lined up. So I just opened up my air vent there. And you pretty much have a straight shot looking at it. So just a couple quick things and we will continue on. Okay, returning to the shifter shaft bushings on my big Harley, 2016 Harley Ultra Limited. Um, this video is approximately one week later from my last video, which I attempted to do it via the YouTube special way. Wasn't having any luck, my bushings didn't want to come out. Um, so I broke down and I bought the special tool. So this is Jim's tool. There's the number, and this is for the big twin, twin cam bikes. Um, comes in basically two parts. There's a piece to drive the bushings out. It's fitted just fine. And once the bushings are out, two piece here. Bushing goes on each side, and then you just screw them together to seat them. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, I think that's a 3 16 Allen wrench, a 5 8 inch open end wrench, and then the big hammer. Well, just a normal hammer. I may have to scale up to a big hammer. We'll see how cranky these bushings are actually going to be. Okay, so using uh, the first part of the tool to drive the old bushings out seems to be working very well. One comment that I heard on a prior video that I want to reinforce on this one is you're a little bit stepped right there. That's the end, obviously, that goes in. 
I've got my bushing partly driven out now. And right here is a narrowed, knurled section. Let's give it some grip. Do not drive the knurled section up in your housing, otherwise you're going to have a bear of a time getting it out. So I will continue. Okay, one more thing I actually want to mention, because uh, I hadn't considered it um, until I actually got done. But the instructions call for the use of a brass hammer. I obviously just used a regular hammer. Pretty steady with the hammer, pretty sure of myself, but um, you may want to consider um, putting something up here to protect just in case you swing and miss. You don't want to be bouncing a hammer off your side case or anything like that, so I would put something up there to protect it. Um, especially if you're a swing and miss hammer person, I guess. All right, both the old bushings are out. Uh, pretty slick, pretty easy, as I would expect and hope for someone who actually buys a tool. If you're going to spend the money on the tool, then you should be re rewarded by an easy task. Another thing I kind of wondered about, but I wasn't quite sure I didn't do it myself, uh, I've not seen anyone do it, is I was wondering when I actually got it in there, got the other bearings out, um, this was a little sticky getting it back out. I had to put a pair of pliers on the end and kind of rotate a little bit and get it to pull back out. I'm wondering if maybe if I had sprayed a little WD-40 or something on the shaft, if that may have helped. Um, it wasn't really that hard to get back out, but you now I'm kind of wondering if I'd sprayed that shaft to kind of lubricate it, maybe if it would have come back out easier. But all is well that ends well. Got the old bushings out, and I will begin reinstallation of my new ones. Okay, so now I'm getting ready to install my new bushings. Uh, there'll be two of them. One that sits on the inside, one that sits on the outside. Maybe the most reasonable hardly part I've ever bought. I think it's like five bucks for both of these. Um, in preparation, again, I got the old ones out. Uh, running a bit of a rag through here and just kind of running back and forth. Try to make sure I get as much of the old crud out as I could. Um, don't get too bad. Yeah, it feels pretty, I don't feel any rough or anything in there when I put my finger in there. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do, and I've heard mixed ideas on this, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some white lithium grease when I reinstall the new bushings. And when I reinstall the shaft, well, I'll have that nice coat of white lithium grease in there for the shaft. I do need to inspect my the shaft to make sure that... Uh, the teeth on the end aren't too boogered up. I may end up getting a new shaft. But either way, I still plan to install a little bit of grease when I do that. So we'll see how that goes. All right, next point of order will be to reinstall the new bushings. Um, so this is the tool to reinstall the bushings. You get one bushing that sits on this side, one bushing that sits on this side. I believe this will go on the inside of the motor. Sit in like that, or the case, not the motor. This will be on the outside run it through and then you just start screwing it and as you screw it um, it will pull both the bushings together i'm going to screw it in all the way till it dead heads um, the bushings will be set at their required spacing should be easy as pie we'll see how it works out all right so for point of clarification there are the bushings ready to be tightened in um, I'll use the Allen head on one side, I'll use the wrench on the other side to hold it. Then all you gotta do is just tighten down the Allen bolt and it will pull both of those bushings in. We'll give it a shot. Alright, tool is in. New bushings are seated. I would just have to back my bolt back out. Remove the two end pieces from the bushings and then reinstall my shifter shaft. So, went pretty slick. Uh, if you don't really want to work that hard, you can maybe use a, a socket down the bolt. I kind of wanted to use just the, you know, the old school one just because I felt I'd make it a little bit more feel when I'm pulling on it in case uh, there was an issue. I don't do this very often. 
Another thing that I'll mention similar to what I mentioned earlier was, um, you know, when you first start doing it, and you're out here and you're just swinging around and around, but as you get closer, you gotta be careful that you don't scratch your case with the Allen wrench, but seated, pretty easy, pretty idiot proof, luckily for me, and now we'll get her back out. And now she's out, new bushings are seated, tool has performed flawlessly. Um, what I will say about the tool is it was a little bit cashy for something that you're going to do maybe once or twice. Um, if you have the money, totally worth it because it saved me so much headache and irritation fighting with trying to get the old bushings out. Um, my intention is to ask any of my friends who have similar bikes to see if they're going to perform this service. If so, I'll let them use it. And once everyone is done, I will sell it to recoup some of the price of the tool. So take a little bit of the sting out of it since I don't intend to probably ever do this again on this bike. Okay, the saga is ongoing. So I have replaced the bushings. Uh, I went to reinstall everything. Thought maybe I'd get lucky um, by just taking this out it back in only have to do the one and not have to mess with these but that's not how it's going to be evidently um, after watching some videos kind of trying to get things tightened up still had quite a bit of slop um, I was checking the teeth on this just let me just zoom in on it uh, some of them originally didn't look too bad but kind of looking at them Might be a couple, couple little sections on there that I'm, I'm not impressed with. So what I will end up doing is I'm going to order this shaft, shifter shaft right here, which I probably should have done to start with. It's not much money, but I was certain that the bushings was the entirety of my error, my issue. Um, but apparently. I'm not saying the shaft is part of my issue, but trying to put it back together um, just doesn't feel good. So it's cheap insurance, got things apart anyway. I'll just have to take these two off and get the new shaft in. So that's going to put a stop to it today. I don't know if Harley's open tomorrow or not. I can't remember if they're open on Monday here. Otherwise, it'll be Tuesday. So we'll see. Okay, continuing on from a prior video a long time ago, um, working on the Big Bikes 2016 Ultra Limited, uh, shifter shaft, I placed the bushings on it, then I decided that I also wanted to get me a new shaft. So I've ordered a new shaft. Part number 33709-82A, shaft gear shift lever. This is for a 2016 Ultra Limited uh, twin cam. There she be. We'll just take the levers off of the old shaft, put them to the new shaft. I've already changed the bushing, so other than um, I'll probably put the levers on here, then not get them real tight because I assume I'll have to adjust them uh, so I get kind of the same setup. Uh. 
rat is less than ideal. That was pretty tight. I don't think I wanted that coming off. They don't expect me to get them back that tight again. Come on. All right, let's see where this goes. Looks like this one here. Got to be it. No one's right there at all. Oh, come on now. That's clearly not how it's going to go. I'm going to let it go wherever. I can always move it. I can always move it. You're gonna go on there. I'm not sure what the actual harming procedure is for this. Probably not that.
Alright, so we'll tighten that down. And then I'll set these where they gotta be, I guess. Alright, so the bolt that I just got been tightening. Get it back in there. I'm gonna hose this onto the shaft. And that. All I gotta do is set my levers here. Whatever makes me happy, and we'll tighten those down. I might call this one done. This one I think has to go down a step. So, yeah, there, there you go. I think that's about right. Right. I helped put the bolt in before you try to tighten it. It's always a bonus. We'll get there eventually. A little bit of rattle to it, but it is a hard way. I do like to rattle. Let's see if I can put more tension on that using this little one. It doesn't sound like my lower end's coming apart. Alright, so we'll call it good. I'll test it out tomorrow, hopefully.